I wanted to bring drugs that could treat Africans and the global population. And I wanted to do a lot of the work in Africa. I wanted to build an African company that could be global. And that's why we started 54G. When we talk about individualized treatment, you actually need to have a much more diverse data set to work from. And that's really where inclusion of the African population in genomics research helps to do that. There are numerous examples of discoveries that have been made in either founder or isolated populations or diverse populations that really would take vast numbers of samples to be able to answer the same question in, in the European descent population. And so it really benefits the global community to make discoveries that are informed by these diverse populations. When we initially first started out, we really focused in on non-communicable diseases. So we were really looking at sample and data collection as it related to sickle cell, neurodegenerative diseases, cancer, endocrine diseases. And the reason why we did that is typically when we talk about disease and disease burden in Africa, we're usually looking at HIV, malaria, and TB, but NCDs collectively have a greater burden in, in Africa than when you look at those three combined. And the work that we're going to be continuing to do is actually trying to expand into more non-communicable disease areas, looking at, for instance, at autoimmune diseases, rare diseases, as we continue our research. We believe that you should do the work on the continent. There is this whole concept of helicopter science, where samples are collected in Africa and taken outside of the continent. For us, we decided that we will invest in infrastructure and we will train and build capacity on the continent to ensure that we are providing jobs and the work is actually being done in Africa. We are supporting African researchers and scientists at 54 Gene. Uh, largely through our efforts through the African Centre for Translational Genomics. What we're trying to do is provide academic scholarships, continuing professional development opportunities, as well as internship opportunities in building a career in molecular genetics or in genomics research as a whole. We have built some of the best sequencing facilities in Africa that support the work we do on the continent. We have a data science department that is running most of our genetics and analysis. We have also just commenced our work into drug discovery with a new translational biology group that is looking at how to validate targets. What we have been able to do at 54 Gene is to establish a state-of-the-art laboratory to conduct routine and specialized diagnostics in the areas of microbiology, histopathology, but also, most importantly, in the area of genomics. We have installed state-of-the-art next-generation sequencing technology that enables us to do various genomics analysis. So, for example, whole genome sequencing, whole exome sequencing, targeted sequencing, whole genome genotyping here in Nigeria. We collect our data in a variety of ways. We ascertain our data by partnering with hospital systems and physicians to go after specific therapeutic focus areas and disease groups. And then there are community-based study. It's more of a community-based effort where we go door to door and we survey individuals for specific traits of interest. Working with physician researchers and genomics researchers that understand the people and the community in which we are conducting our research studies, I think is critical for building trust and for ensuring that we respect the sociocultural values of the populations that we would be conducting studies at or with, making sure that we obtain proper informed consent from them and how that is all contributing towards achieving the vision we have which is that of equalizing precision medicine, especially for African populations. We are planning to expand the data collection and analysis in, in several ways. We're very interested in moving into novel ethnolinguistic groups, uh, into building a more comprehensive understanding of the scale of diversity across the continent and the prevalence of different diseases and the, you know, the history of the different populations across the continent to integrate all those findings into a therapeutic discovery pipeline that can identify novel treatments that will benefit these populations and by extension, the global community. We envision that the work that 54 Gene is doing along with its collaborative partners will not only be able to shift the paradigm where you only see 
just a small percentage of African genomes being used to do drug discovery and do research, as well as more data sets coming out of Africa that will hopefully be able to see a future where we're treating a lot more of diseases that are heard of and those that are unknown because we're now being able to have that diversity of inclusion. I think we'll see a much more accelerated advancement than we see today as well. For us, it's not just about getting data or getting access to samples. It's really about how do we ensure that the work we're doing improves the lives of Africans. How do we make Africans participate in this work and share the intellectual property that comes out of the studies? And we're trying to find a model that will allow a coexistence between African research and global research and ensure that there is equity, real equity, that comes back to the African continent.